Good morning, it's Karen Lanning from the YMCA of Greater Michiana, and you may already know Crystal. <laughs> She's joining us today. I'll do some coaching. Um, so since you're doing this at home, make sure that you've got a clear space, that it's free of kids and pets and other things that could be dangerous. Um, you may want a mat. And this is for exercise on the sixes, just to give you an idea of what we are going to be doing on Monday night at six o'clock and Thursday mornings at 6 a.m. Yeah, so um, you'll, you'll get a little bit of variety um, from each class. So work on form most important. So that's kind of what I'm going to be doing with having Crystal here is coaching some of that form so that you can maybe take a look at yourself and do a self check. Um, because we do want you to be safe. And that means that form is what you think of first. Instead of advancing the movement, work on the positioning. All right, we're gonna get started. We're doing this kind of Tabata style, longer Tabata style, because everybody likes to do Tabata long. <laughs> All right, hopefully you can hear me and a little bit of music. We're gonna get started because I'm early morning. I'm assuming you've probably just gotten up. So we're gonna go ahead and take the music down a notch. <laughs> there we go. All right. Go ahead and lay on your back. Uh, sure, sure. All right, I want you to rotate your spine. So flex, squeeze those glutes, hands, palms up. Knees are going to come right over those hips. We're going to sweep it down and sweep it back in. So back out to 45 and back in. I want you to go slow. You're pulling that belly button into your spine. And if you feel that the back is arching, you're just going to take that piece a little lower. So you decide. What's right for you? All right, pull it back in. A little breather. You got 15 seconds. So just a quick check. We're rotating that spine so it's flatter on the mat. You feel that belly button pull down the spine. Squeeze your booty, lift those legs. Start with the opposite leg first. And come back to that. Keeping the torso nice and stable on the floor. Bringing those knees back just over the hip bone. Maybe trying to point that toe. How are we doing back there, Crystal? Take a break whenever you need to. Listen to your body. Now, getting those lower abdominals warmed up. You might feel those claws warming up too. Finish on the opposite leg. And then rest. Next time we're going to move with a cross crawl. So fingertips are going to be towards the forehead. You're going to tuck that chin slightly. Brace the core. You can do a toe tap. We're going to do a little double pulse. Single, single, double. Now, if you're ready for more, you might extend. You decide. Your pace can be faster, but only if you're in control. Keeping those elbows out wide. And if you want to go slower, go ahead. If you want to take the upper body out, you can come back to it when you can. So we start to warm up those abdominals. Who couldn't wait for that beep? The beep is our friend, right? All right, we got another round of that. So reset that spine down, brace that core, fingertips to the forehead, chin cut slightly, single, single, double. On that double, try to pull that shoulder up and cross just a little bit more. Crystal's 
Can you get options? Now, if you find that your neck starts to get bothered, yep, you just work right here. You can try extending. You can even just work right here for a brief moment. Okay, we did already work the lower abdominal with the last one, so that might be too much. So just think about where you're feeling that work. Take a little breather. All right, we're gonna do a hip raise. So bring your heels in close. Lift the hips by squeezing the bum, pressing the heels down and lift your right leg. You're gonna do single leg bridges. So it's slow and controlled. There's a big push up to the ceiling. And you want to keep this leg still. So if you feel your knee going in and out, I want you to have it controlled. Keep it centered. We feel in our booty and our lower back. So you're trying to lift those hips up. So they're level with that knee and shoulder line. Drive it up. Drive it up. You can do it if you need to. We'll take another option after we do the other leg. Yeah, we don't want to do that. We don't want to uneven things. <laughs> All right, so belly pulled in tight. Heel lifted. You can lift up with both feet. Get yourself set. Then lift that left leg down up. So you're going about halfway and driving through that heel that's on the floor. So the big drive up. Feeling great this morning. Are we still squeezing our booty and our core? Making sure. We're trying, it takes a lot of concentration to squeeze it all in. All right, right. And now we're paying attention to that knee. Is it staying still? Take a break when you need. Last one. Ooh. Ooh, mama. Bum, 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 bum. All right, palms up, relax those shoulders, knees. All right, we're going to start with the lower option. Knees are going to stay back. We're going to do a little J shape. So a little J out. We're going slow. If you want more, straighten that leg. You might have to go a little slower with those straight legs. Now, if you are straightening the leg, I want you to give that toe a little turn out. Right there, turn it out, point it towards the corner. Get those adductors woken up. Yes. Uh, whew. All right, we got another round of those. How are we feeling back there? We're doing it. Good. All right, we're back at it again. Knees at 90, legs at 45. You decide. Now, your belly button is going into the spine. Your pelvic floor is pulling up towards your belly button. Your upper abdominals are pulling down to the bottom line. So everything's compacting the center. That stabilizes our core, helps our lower back be supported. Everybody's breathing, right? Uh huh. Remember, you can bend those knees. We're just listening to our body. If you start to feel that spine moving up and down, you want to adjust. Woo. All right, we're going to wrap up. We're going to have a nice, strong spine. Legs are going to come up. So you might just be here 45 seconds. I'm shaking already. You're shaking already? <laughs> 
Anytime you need to, you put your toe down. Right? It's all right. Keep the chest lifted so you want to feel a nice, strong upper back. Belly button pulls in tight. We are breathing here. Not controlling your breath. Great. Isolation. My legs are shaking too. There you go. We got it. We're almost there. We're going to hear those fabulous beats soon. I hope that's feeling good at home. The core is waking up. Woo! All right. Now, we've got one more round. If that felt super easy at home, I'll bump it up a notch for you. I'll be here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's bring it back. Shoulders back and down. Brace that core. We're going to wait for that beat. We're waiting. We're waiting. <laughs> maybe. Maybe. That was a long hold. Oh, we were going to get a rest period, guys. No, no, that's not what we're doing. That was an extra break for us. We've got to enjoy those. Those of you who know me know I get a little loud and crazy. All right, shoulders back and down, chest lifted, core tight. Bring those legs up. Now, if you're looking for more, you're going to balance and take those arms out. It's up to you. Good. Maybe you're going to pump those arms. Some of you might even get straight legs. Some of us might come back. Ah, beautiful release. Woo! All right. Hi. We'll just hi. Now we're gonna roll it over. We really warmed up the front side of our bodies. We're gonna come into the back side. We're looking for a hover. So elbows below shoulders. Arms parallel, knees in line with elbows. Now, this is where sometimes it goes awry. We get tired and so the butt starts lifting up. I want you to focus on shifting those hips so they're in line with the shoulders. Now, focus on the back Pull that belly button in. If you're looking to advance this, we start with one knee up. So press that heel back. Now we don't want those hips to shift. Maybe you want to lift that other knee. The eye gaze is right in between the hands. That keeps the neck in alignment with the spine. All right, then release. Woo! Maybe you sit it back. We're going to come to that again. You decide if you like the two knees up, come right to that. Elbows below shoulders. Brace that core, set the body, and then decide. You're doing one or two knees. Anytime you want to, you can put one knee down. It's just a little breather. Make sure you give each knee down the same amount of time. Keep those shoulders just above the elbows. We're almost there. All right, here. Woo! Now we're going to come into a plank, similar position. If you've got issues with your wrist, I happen to have that. You might need to go back to that hover, but same principle applies. Shoulders above wrists, core is tight. Feet are hip distance or slightly wider for balance. You can always come here. Now, try not to lock those elbows out. You keep that little micro bend there. And we're wanting those hips to stay in that line. Maybe there's a little more jump in the trunk, so that booty can be it. <laughs> but we want the hip bones in line with shoulders to ankles. Just like we were standing in a neutral position, same thing with the plank. Release. Woo! 
Planks and hoppers, great for the whole body. That was our first plank. We ready for another? Go. All right. Bring it in. Brace that core. One or two. Remember, you could do one knee up. If you're finding that you're struggling. That I gave just slightly in front of the hands. And if your knees are down, make sure your toes are down as well. Yes, yes. We want to be gentle with those knees. If you're here, that's a lot of pressure on that kneecap. Those tendons and ligaments don't like that over the long haul. And we are here to keep our bodies healthy, not hurt them. We're breathing deep into the nose, exhaling. And I need a little shoulder stretch. All right. We're going to come into four stance, knees under hip, hands under shoulders. We're going to reach and then pull it in. Reach. Now, this doesn't, yeah, same side. So we're focused right now on keeping the shoulders and hips completely still. So you're bracing your core. You're squeezing your booty tight. We will advance this movement in the future. But first, we've got to master the control in this basic pointer. So that movement helps you to see, am I starting to lose my balance? Am I shifting weight into the back or the front? All right, remember which side you did there. We're going to move to the opposite side for our next go round. Core is tight, shoulders back and down. Knees hip distance for balance. Extend, pull it in. You're trying to lift that arm and leg, the hip and shoulder height, but no higher. You don't want to get that collection in the back. We want to keep the hips still and controlled. So feel that crunch. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. Woo. Try to keep that weight balanced between the hand and the knee. Hips, shoulders stay level throughout the work. The more you squeeze that booty, the more level those hips stay. All right, we are back down to our hover. We're going to add a knee lift. So it's going to be a little walking knee, elbows below, shoulders. Brace the core. We're going to lift and alternate. Now our hips are still staying level. Good job, Crystal. I hope you can check your hips out at home. I want you to think about pressing that heel back. So if the wall was right behind you, you stamp that heel on the wall. Now we're pulling the belly button in tight, keeping that lower back neutral and still. Keeping the eye gaze between the hands. We keep our hands in the horizontal position to help keep that chest open. A lot of times we're in here, we want to open up that chest. Woo! <laughs> Must be good feet. <laughs> oh, back at it, guys. Knee drops. Here we go. You're enjoying the music. Now, this is that slower pace. If you're maintaining control here, you might want to come here. Gentle pressure back and forth. You might decide to keep the knees not touching. And if you need to, just take a breather. That breather might be holding the hover. It might be sitting back to child's pose. But we're pulling those elbows towards the core. And even those lower pelvic muscles up to the belly button. 
Who wants to lay down on their bellies? All right. I may regret So I want you to point the toes. You're bracing your core. Hands can be right here. You're going to rest the forehead on. And then we're going to do swimmer legs. So what I sometimes see is the legs bending like this. That's not what we're looking for. You want to squeeze your butt. You feel just a slight lift of those quads over the body. And we're going to swim those legs. Now, 45 seconds. There we go. We're pointing that toe. Now we're trying to relax that upper body. So pull those shoulders back and down. Brace the core. You're feeling the pelvis press to the floor evenly. The core stays super tight and engaged, but the focus is that lower back, glutes, hamstrings, and thighs. Shoulders are relaxed. Oh my goodness, is it deep? Um, no. Hold on just a little longer. I love you. Sometimes there's technical difficulties with the beeping. Oh, let's do that again. Everybody likes to swing their legs. Maybe you're thinking of Michael Phelps and you're kicking him to that last 50, right? You gotta go fast. Every muscle is working on the back side, lower part of the body. The shoulders are relaxing now. It feels so good to feel that burn back there, yeah? Oh yeah, it's burning. Yeah, it's burning. Keep going though, guys, keep going. Almost there, almost there. Almost. Take to the end, take to the end, and finish. Woo! All right. It is time to give it a little stretch. And then I want you to get ready to do some cardio while we're standing. All right. So. Let's get those back out of the way. Make sure you got a clear spot. And since we're doing this in the morning, we should be awake, right? And ready to get moving for the day. So, oh, oh, hydrate. Thank you, Crystal. Those of you doing the reset challenge with us know that hydration is hard. Some of us need a reminder. All right. So let's come back here so I have a head. All right, feet just under hips, core tight. We got a back stepping lunge. Take that right leg back, find that lunge. Left leg back. Now I'm going to angle without losing my balance. So when you step back, I want you to drop that back knee. This front thigh comes parallel to the floor and the chest stays lifted. So we don't want to lean forward. You can use those alternating running arms. Good. Now you're going to listen to your body and find the depth that's right for you. And if you need, you might have a chair next to you for balance. All right. You should have felt that heart rate start to pick up. We've got that again. We're going to start on the opposite leg. All right, let's take it back. Now let's pay attention to this front knee. You're pushing into the front heel. And that front knee just opens slightly towards the pinky toe. That gets that blue medius. Right? And boy, do we love to, to work the good medias. Is your core engaged? Is your chest lifted? Are you bending that back knee? Opening the front knee. Woo! Now, I look 
forward to seeing you guys on Zoom. I'll actually be able to see you and help do some correction. Woo! Who's ready for a squat? Do it. All right. We're going to progress the squat. I want it to be challenging for you wherever you're at in your fitness. Feet just up on hips. Same hips back and down. I'm going to change to the side. So if you imagine there's a seat behind you, you're giving it a little left tap. The chest is staying lifted. The core, Yay. yes. The knees are opening slightly because we're squeezing the outside of our bum too. Now, if you want more, you might come into a jump. It's up to you. Woo! Maybe just for a couple. Woo! Good job, guys. We're coming in to the finish. So we got a little bit more of those squats. Take it back and down, chest lifted. Now maybe you're targeting the depth of your hips just above your knees. If you come to our body comp break classes, CX, that's what we talk about. You can certainly, if you're a power lifter, drop it lower. So listen to your body. Make sure we're breathing. I can hear myself in crystal breathing. So when you're at home, make sure you're exhaling with that drive up. Woo. What time do you have? We got burpees, guys. Now. We put all that together. We're going to squat, drop the hands down below the shoulders. You can step back to your plank and then step up, come to your squat, reach it up. We're going slow to start. Hands down, chest below the shoulders. Remember, hips are level with the shoulders. Oh, I forgot that whole squat part. I'm going to have to hold that a little longer. This what happens when I talk sometimes. Squat. Oh, big reach. So this is a nice slow burpee. Sometimes when we move a little faster in burpees, we get a little sloppy. So maybe start a few slow. And then this round. Take it like that. Okay. Woo! For a couple. You don't have to do the whole 45 seconds all out. All right. Start as you were, or come in, squat down, jump those feet back, squat in, and up. Squat down, feet back, in, up. If you want more, you might get a jump in there. Now, if getting down to the floor isn't for you there, take, squat, lift. You do one, two, Squat and lift. Now, that heart rate should be pumping. You should be ready for coffee. And a big, beautiful day ahead. A little breather. We got about two minutes to stretch. It's always important to stretch. Let's take our feet wide. We're going to turn that right toe. We're going to bend that right knee. I want you to open up that knee. Take a big stretch over. Shoulders back and down. Knee just over that ankle. Now you can rotate. You can stay lifted. Find the lunge if you like to drop in a little lower. Feel free. Brace that core deep, pull that back foot in, your front toe lifts, both knees are slightly bent. Hands are going to come to this back side. We're going to sink 
And then I want you to rotate the pelvis so the sits bones are up. And you feel that little bit more intense hamstring stretch. And now, just if you want, a gentle pull onto those toes. All right, take it to the center. Big breath. Take it to the other side. The knee turns out. The arm is down. Big stretch and open that chest to the front. Core is tight. Take it down. Up high, down low. You choose. All right, raise that core. Take that back foot in front. So let's both knees slightly bent. Shoulders back and down. So great posture. Light tip of that pelvis. Woo. And then little toe hold. Get those calf muscles. Break that core. So just extend a big breath in. Now we're going to get a little tricep stretch. So you're just tucking the back. Take a shoulder stretch. And hit those shoulders with all those planks and hovers. Get the other side. Are we doing the opposite? That's all right. Shoulders are relaxed. Now let's get a nice big quad stretch. Hold on to something if you need to, but bring those knees closer together. Tuck that tailbone under. Feel that big stretch on the front of the leg. Hold the ear, balance the tailbone. Switch legs. So we got lots of variety coming for these 30 minute segments. This was full body core focus. I'll have something different for you next week. All right. Good job, Crystal. Thank you guys. Have a great day. There's Heather on Mondays, usually 6 p.m. I think I'm here next Monday. And then I'm on 6 a.m. on Thursdays. So join us live if you'd like. Crystal sends out the Zoom link. Yep. We'll okay. Be on virtual live that you guys all have the email for. Perfect. Wonderful. Thanks, guys.